I'm Kaya and I am 14 years old. And I live with my sister and my mom. I would say we were a poor family because we really don't have a lot of money at all. I'm bored. We've been homeless basically for a year or something like that. We had moved into an apartment and we couldn't afford it, so we had to move out. So we've just been living with people. We're just in one room and it's three of us. I'm homeless. I'm just not your typical what it looks like to be homeless. But I have no home. I can't provide a home for my children right now. We need a dentist appointment bad. She got some cavities. Lately, they've been hurting all the time for some reason. I think it's because I was just, I've been eating a whole lot of candy. We're homeless because we're not financially stable and my mom's just been struggling because she's a single parent and it's really harder than people think. Prior to losing her house, she just couldn't afford um, paying the bills anymore. She still has not gotten back on her feet with um, a job, which, um, and she doesn't want to move into another place where she knows that she can't afford it and then we'll be out. All of my jobs have been like temp jobs. I haven't had any income coming in since before COVID started because I had just ended a position and I was going into a new position in March. And then I got a call, said we're not gonna be able to move forward with your job. So I have had no income coming in, no child support. So I had tried other programs, you know, to assist in helping us kind of get through this portion of life. If you was gonna start work and COVID-19 interrupted that, and or if you had a child in your home whose schooling was interrupted by COVID-19, this, this unemployment is um, just specifically for that. They're gonna be giving me a weekly benefit of that much money until I find a job. But everything is still pending though, so I haven't got anything yet. Every little bit will help the necessities of life, like toothpaste, toothbrush, stuff that we need for feminine products or summer clothes, for example, since our stuff was freaking taken away through storage, auctioned off. We had it in the storage unit and we didn't have enough money to pay for the storage unit, so they auctioned our stuff out. I lost important things like pictures that I can't get again. Some of our clothes were actually in there and a whole lot of other stuff. I live in a packed bag and all my stuff is in there. I just keep it packed because at this point, it's no reason to keep unpacking it. So I just keep it all packed. So that is stressful, but I got, I've gotten used to it. So I guess it's really not no anymore. This is the first layer. And then I put this on there. Like this. I just lay these out and then in the morning I'll put them away. And then when I go to sleep again, I'll take them out. I really make this look like, like a little twin size of bed. I have to sleep on the floor and my, um, my sister and my mom sleep on the bed. I feel like I should because my mama's back is more fragile than mine. I go like this. I don't like living in other houses. I wish we had our own. I couldn't imagine living like this forever, and I don't want to live like this forever.